All right, and today we're here with Gremlins Cad. So <laughs> let's take a look. So we did, however, we saw them at Haunted uh, last weekend. Unfortunately, they didn't do super well, but they did get paid by first seat, and they lost an R16. So, you know, there has been a lot of learn. It's been a big learning process, right, for for high hangs, especially at the tournament. And since we have we have this here from VCAD, you know, shout out to to their VCAD post. We can just take a look and really di uh, dissect this robot, right? Since we have such a, a close de and detailed look of their CAD. First thing I know this is they have to they they're running they're running four wheel, which I mean one of the wheels looks like it's because they have the same cross placement cross beam placement as Ace where they have it right over the wheel, but I'm not sure. Oh, I think it's because they're PTO, so they have to get rid of that second one. But what having more wheels actually really allows you to do is have better acceleration. So this bot looks a little bit on the heavier end, or heavier end just because it's longer. So that Excel might have hindered them. Yeah, of course. But I mean, I don't think that's nearly as big of an issue as not being able to play wall stakes, right? Because we did see that they needed a bar here. They don't have it in the CAD, but they have a they need a bar here with a like a plastic, right? That lets them slide up onto that, uh, onto that onto the hang, right? And they have a little. Uh, kicker on the bottom there that can you know help them stop uh, on the on the on the each run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean overall there's really 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 good you know placement of these air tanks and just everything right. This is you know placed within the, here uh, these custom I like guess CNC plastic sheets. Yeah, very clean. Uh, yeah, and for for what you're talking about with wall stakes, what they could do is implement like a 1028 direct Mac where. It's just very low profile, and so it kind of sits inside your robot and would allow you to slide past them. Yeah, shout out to 1028 as well. Go Definitely go check out their video on their direct mag. But basically what it does is it's kind of like a in-between of like, uh, kind of like takes inspiration from like Fish Mag, Lady Brown, and Redirect, right? Basically it sits uh, just like flat against your your uh, basically your like hook, right? Just like a Lady Brown would whenever it's loading. And then it would just pull the ring off, just like a Lady Brown. But it's sitting like further down in the robot, so that's very nice. And then you can definitely fit that onto a robot like Gremlins here. Yeah, yeah. and something else interesting is just their their hooks, um, their passive hooks. Basically, just how it works is their active hooks at the very top. They'll pull down, and then these, um, those passive hooks below. Are um on are on a pivot, so they'll just move out of the way, go on top of them, and it's basically like it's locking. So it's very strong without having to push past those. Past yeah, yeah, yeah. These are one way stops, so they can go down, but they can't come up. Where like they can go down to us, uh, and then like they can come up to a certain amount, but they can't come up like higher, right? So then we yeah. did see this, however, fail in the uh, in one of the, in like I think their last qualification. So definitely mm -hmm. watch out for that. I think you guys probably saw that on the stream as well. One of their their left side hook never never connected and then that made mm -hmm. them fall off of that hang quite tragically and i i think something that could help prevent that is have more slop with them um, with your passive hook so moving them up a whole, whole higher would mean that they would actually release sooner meaning if your hang doesn't go down all the way it's still going to have those passive hooks go up and then that'll just make it more consistent yeah yeah absolutely you want to talk a little bit about, about their their poly while i try to pull up that video yeah um so they use custom linear slides uh the reason for that is um the linear slides vex makes are one they have a ton of friction and two they're made of steel so they're super heavy so what they do here is they use um plastic on the outside of or on the inside of the c channel and then um their kepler electronics made a video on it uh but you have the uh s i think it's where just they the the like very thin white spacers yeah um running across the Got it. the Wait. C channel oh, and then that um <laughs> yeah and you can yeah, see basically that you put the oh it was the, the right C side <laughs> it was the right side yeah. you can see them not the 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 hook never you know engages and and mm -hmm. they fall off <laughs> very tragically very tragically but yeah I mean over this is a this is definitely like one of the one of the robots of all time right two motor intake they can probably mm -hmm. you know cut it down to a 1.5 and then run a direct mech if they want to i don't know if they're yeah. sticking with high hang i think i think they might be sticking with high hang i'm not too sure though 
I would think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I definitely still think high hanging will be played later in the season, even though many teams, uh, even some of the best teams in the world, are are like starting to you know go away from that because after they uh, seeing what happened. Uh, but I think, undeniably, even if you don't think it's good for matches, it's going to win skills at Worlds. Yes, yes, for sure, for sure. Just like last year, right, with the with number one and number mm-hmm. two skills all being high Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, good cad. 